In today's video, I will show you guys how to design this flyer in Corner Draw. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Corner Draw, guys. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is change our paper size. In case you're new to Corner Draw, please go and watch my beginner's class, all right? So you understand every bit of what I'm doing here. Um, con coming over here, guys. Uh, These are uh, the stock images we're making use of, all right? So as you can see, I've taken out the background of this image from this to this. All right. So these are just the basic background we'll be making use of. All right. This is the logo. And over here is the text we'll be making use of. And here is the names of the font. And I'm going to put everything for you guys in the down description below and in the comment section for you guys to download and make use of it. Follow up and let's get straight to it. So guys, um, the size we're making use of is 10 by 10 by 13 inches all right so to change your size come over to um come over to your property bar select your drawing unit and make sure it's on inches and um, change this to 10 by 13 inches all right so basically if you're using pixels you can use 1080 by um 1350 yeah what i mean by pixels is just coming over here and change this to pixels you can use inches or pixels all right so basically what we're going to do is we're going to convert our uh, rectangle to double click on it and um, basically it will bring itself to this part and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove our black stroke if you don't know what black stroke is look at it over here so it's not actually good to leave that always on your design so we're going to just um um right click on this thumbnail over here just to take it out and that is it so the next thing we're going to do is import our stock images so to do that over to file on your menu bar file on your menu bar and select import and um, the next thing you're going to see is a download box which is going to show you where your files are saved basically locate where the files are saved and select the basic ones which you're going to make use of and click on import and the next thing you're going to do is click and drag to place everything here all right so once you do that you can delete this one we don't need it so we leave that to that so the next thing we're going to do is come over to this text too and um copy everything ctrl c to copy and um, come over to the text too and paste over here ctrl v to paste then we can give it a white color for those of you who are still waiting for correct draw version please i am still uploading it once i'm done i'm going to share the file with you so you follow up and you can follow up with any lower version or any version of your choice it's the same process right so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to bring this image all right so we're going to extract this um image because we want to change the color so to change the color you have to extract it so you can edit it so to do that come over to bitmap all right convert image to bitmap so this box is going to come up so what you're going to do is basically go to your color mode and change this to rgb then you color your resolution you can leave that to 300 and you can click on ok now come over to bitmap again select mode all right select this select mode then select black and white all right so once you do that conversion conversion method should be on line art then you can click on ok then basically this is what you're going to have so come over to trace bit, trade bitmap and outline trace then line art and um, basically wait for this to load so we have our before and this is going to be our after loading shortly and this is it guys so basically um please subscribe to the channel and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on ok and we're going to remove this all right so basically this is not giving me what i want but we're going to just use it the way it is i actually needed this black spot but if i need the black spot there are things i need to do to get it out but for that let's just use the black one and get this deleted now i'm going to just scale this up so i'm going to use my mirror tool to flip it this way then i'm going to select my rectangle tool and um, draw this way so once i do that so sometimes always use your brain use your brain to you know calculate things before you make use of them now you can just give it a white color and you can see we still have the same thing as before now you can select everything and click on weld so once you weld it we still have the same thing as we deleted all right now right about that what you're going to do is i'm going to come over to this let me give it um this color so we can see 
Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to basically, all right, I'm going to drag this one this way. And once I do that, let me just bring this one this way and um, leave that to that. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this one this way. Bring this one over here. Bring this over here. Then I'm going to select my shape tool, highlight this, drag it up this way. Once I do that, I'm going to highlight everything again. Then I'm going to select weld. Weld is actually to combine the both objects together. Then once I click on weld, the both objects are combined together. And this is what you're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a color to it. Then we're going to click on this color thumbnail over here. Then to get this, you know where to get this, guys. You know where to get it. Then select your color viewer and select change it to RGB. All right. Use RGB because we are not printing this. If you want to print it, make sure you change our um, CMYK. So I'm going to drag this to this part. All right. I'm going to bring this guy over here. All right. I'm going to bring this guy over here. So let's let's give it a perfect color. I want to select something cool. All right. So let's make use of this for now. I'm going to right click and select power clip and place it into this frame. So why should power clip everything goes into the frame this way? All right, you can see the before, you can see the after. All right, so basically, you all know um, what retro is all about. So this is retro Thursday flyer. So you all know what retro is all about. It's all about the throwback music kind of, you understand? So we're going to make this flyer look like kind of an old school flyer. Do you understand? So we're going to cut this and I'm um, going to paste it just right here. So before then, I'm going to bring in this guy and scale it up. You know, this kind of, uh, what is it called? This, this radio is kind of an old school radio. So we're going to make use of that to beat um, old school, kind of, you know. So I'm going to just drag this up this way, bring it down a bit, bring it down a bit. Then I'm going to convert it to bitmap. Once we do that, we're going to change this to go to mode, select grayscale. And once we do that, we're going to come to effects, select adjust, select brightness and contrast. All right, select brightness and contrast, or you can go to your image adjustment lab to increase the, you can reset it. Once you reset it, you can increase the, increase the contrast a bit, then you can click on OK. So once you do that, this is what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to bring this guy, this over here, and I'm going to go to bitmap just watch closely to see what we're going to have then i want to go to bitmap convert it to bitmap all right then go to um then go to bitmap again select mode select black and white so this is what you are going to have so the next thing you're going to do is uh you're going to just increase the threshold increase the threshold increase it then click on OK. Then convert it to bitmap again. Once you convert it to bitmap, go to um, bitmap, select mode, select black and white again. Increase the threshold. Then do this, and this is what you're going to have. So basically, go to trace bitmap, outline trees, light arts, and uh, wait for this to load. I pray this load faster. Whoa, this, this is going to take enough time like this is going to take enough time you can see the time over here is four hours blah 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 so i'm going to cancel it so we're going to cancel it to we're going to reduce the the weight again so i'm going to reduce this this way once you have that just reduce it and once you reduce it come over to bitmap again convert it to bitmap all right so once you convert it to bitmap then uh, come over to trace bitmap again and select outline trace line at let's see the timing is going to give us so you know why it was giving us four hours is because the image was too large so you can see the timing is giving us on seconds because we reduced it and converted to bitmap so follow this process and that is it so guys this is not given this is not given let me click on okay let me see what we have because i think something is missing here you can see it's not actually giving us what we want so we're going to delete this and now I'm going to add, why is actually not cutting properly is because 
we need to add a white space over here so it's going to cut properly all right so it will cut from here now uh you can just bring this one down here and uh, convert it to bitmap again all right so go back to this line art and let's see how it's going to cut all right so three seconds two seconds one second and boom guys you can see we have this and this is what we have been looking for so this is what we've been looking for so basically um i'm going to change it to black so we delete the ones we don't want select your shape tool all right so before then let's ungroup it uh what we're going to do is uh let's just weld everything together then select your shape tool and um delete this because i don't want an opening there i don't want an opening so delete all this node delete all this node and um that is it so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to bring it this guy over here scale it up make sure it's aligned properly make sure it's aligned properly so i'm going to use shift speech down to take it behind you bring it forward again the next thing we're going to do is i want to shift it to this part all right so the color i'm going to give it is this color all right so we're going to give it this color so this is what we are going to have but i'm going to cover to my color thumbnail and um select my color viewer then basically bring this over here and uh we use this color this way and this is what we're gonna have so i'm gonna click on ok the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select everything select right click and select power clip and place it into this frame now this is basically what you're gonna have so i'm gonna go into the frame and um, bring this guy out here then i'm gonna reduce this this way and we're gonna leave that to that so the next thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna come over here and change this font to this so i told you guys these are the names of the fonts i'm gonna copy it and i'm gonna basically paste it over here all right so i'm gonna paste that over there and um, let's wait for that to load all right so while it's loading guys please don't forget to subscribe so we're gonna just change this font to this and we're gonna break this apart using Control plus k or you come over to text tool and um, you can see um text tool then you can see break text apart where is that where is that where is that so come to objects come to objects yeah it's on objects break retro apart so now we're going to just basically change this to uppercase shift f3 or you come over to your text and select um change case is the same thing then click on change case then click on okay do the same to this shift f3 then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to scale this up this way so once you scale it up um basically scale this one up this way and um leave that to that so make sure it's centralize and this is basically what you're gonna have guys so the next thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna basically select my ellipse tool and draw a cycle here then give it this color then i'm gonna basically use my shift page up to bring it forward to get that perfect cycle over there so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in this logo and we're gonna just place it here reduce this this way scale it up this way and uh leave that to that so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in this guy cut it using Control plus x go into the frame paste it over here then scale it up this way place it and um select the transparency tool then go to mesh mode then select overlay all right so now let's change it to black and white all right so this is what we're going to have so i'm going to just scale this up this way and um let's link that to that so i want to highlight this one bring it forward shift page up then we're going to click on finish and this is what we are going to have guys so that's what we're going to do is i want to cut this guy i want to cut this guy ctrl x paste it over here but for this one i think it's too obvious so we're going to just select our transparency to and reduce hide it a bit because i told you guys transparency is either used to hide or reveal so the font we make use of this is called um bristol all right 
not actually this one but hold on while it's load so this is the one we're gonna make use of all right so I'm gonna just scale this down a bit and um, bring it here centralize it make sure it's on sensor alignment come over to this and use center alignment then change it to black and make sure it's on perfect black all right so put it over here and uh, you can reduce it this way and um, basically select your freehand to draw a line this way give it a white color all right give it a white color then draw another one here and um, leave that to that so we're going to just scale this one up here and uh, bring this guy down here and the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to cause this paste it just right here then the font we make use of this is called agency all right so once we do that we're going to scale this up this way place it just right here so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bold this once we bold this we're going to just basically reduce this this way and um scale it down and um you're going to cut this so instead of changing the font we can basically bring this guy here with same fonts all right type every thursday but we're going to just make it short form all right we're going to just make it short all right so let me try those fonts all right so we're going to just maintain this one i'm going to maintain this one bring it down here and uh, scale it up again and the last thing we're going to do is i want to bring this guy down here and um uh, basically bring my rectangle to and draw a box over here then give it a white color so once we do that i want to drag this to this part then give it a red a red a red a red color so once we do that i'm going to drag this one over here again give it a black color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my shape to and i'm going to drag this one this way and drag this one this way so this is basically what we're going to have so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this all right paste it over here then change this to agency all right so i'm going to board it so once i board it i'm going to basically scale it up this way and uh, bring this guy this way and uh, give it a black color i'm going to reduce it then use control sorry shift page up to bring it forward now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to use Control plus k to break it apart then basically we're going to just drag this here and the font we make use of this is called captain book so we're going to board it once we board it we're going to scale it up this way bring it down here then bring this guy over here and change the font we can use this and um leave that to that so we're going to basically leave this one over here now i'm going to cut this one over here all right so i'm going to use um 18 plus which means on the 18 at the once or to attend this program so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring this one down here and basically guys you can actually duplicate this right so make sure you give it a white color so you don't have this give it a white color over here now you can basically um highlight everything and bitmap it right once you bitmap it you can actually give it a noise effect go to effects and let add noise right so you can actually add noise then click on ok so you can see this is the noise in the background you can see all right so this is basically you can have two version you can add use the one that has the noise and the one without the noise effect so this is basically how we made this retro thursday flyer in corner Drive. if you have any question you can drop me a comment in the comment section below and see you guys in my next video